Welcome back to another day in the life of a reseller vlog. Today is Tuesday, March 12th. I've um, been busy this morning, got a new vlog posted to the channel. I also uh, packed up a couple orders. We had a, a couple orders coming overnight, nothing too uh, crazy. One Star Trek book out of the small store and a uh, DVD out of the big store. Got those packed up and I started listing a few items. I uh, got a couple of the brooches listed. If you watched yesterday's video, you know that I have uh, started on the jewelry and I've got some brooches set here. Photographed and uh, began listing them today. Here's a look at the remaining four. I got two listed so far and we got uh, four more to go. I also have these Gatorade Blue uh, Air Jordans I'm hoping to list next. Trying to get some uh, higher priced items into the store. But that's not the big news of the day. The big news of the day is that I just won another storage unit. A nice 5x5 five five out in Linden. I uh, paid $260 for that one and I'm going to go try to pick that up today. I've got to get in contact with them, make sure they're open uh, late enough for me to swing out there and grab it. It's a 5x5 five five, so it should all fit in my truck if I drive the truck out there. Um, so that's the plan for this afternoon. Of course I'm going to take you guys with me. So uh, stay tuned and you can see what I got. Uh, I'll give you a look at the photos of the unit right now. Here's a look at it. As you can see, lots of luggage, lots of bags, a couple garbage bags with some guessing our clothes, which will be good for inventory for my shop, my uh, two eBay stores. We could just list those clothes in there, no biggie. 260, there's easily 260 in this, but we're hoping for a little bit more, uh, maybe to find a few treasures in the mix. So uh, let's see the rest of them. They have that blue bag on the top there, a couple garbage bags, a couple suitcases. Really could be anything in this. There's a baseball bat in the corner and kind of a nicer uh, animal print bag right down there if you look at that. Uh, looks to be a sleeping bag above it. So there might be some outdoorsy type of stuff in here. Um, I'm guessing it's probably a single mom is what it looks like to me. But I might be wrong. Could be an old lady unit. Um, it's hard to say. Um, there is a little bit of floral Christmas stuff in the corner there, so you know, usually uh, kids don't have that kind of stuff if it's a younger uh, person. But uh, in this uh, box up here with the uh, locks is kind of interesting as well. Might be just a makeup box, but it could be a jewelry box. You never know. So there's definitely a lot of uh, mystery to this one. That's kind of why you do it, right? Uh, hoping to get out there and see what's in it all. Um, there's, you know, probably something good in those um, in those garbage bags in terms of clothing. It looks like it's a pretty clean unit, uh, not a bunch of garbage. So hopefully we get some brand name stuff that will make our money back real quick and then everything else we make uh, is just profit, pure profit. The way I like to think about it is you count up the number of bags and figure at least $20 per bag and that's kind of what you're able to bid. Um, that's kind of how I deal with it. We're definitely under that uh, $20 mark because there's quite a few bags in this one and they all appear to be full so uh, we'll see, we'll see. So it's about 12.30 right now. I'm going to have a little bit of lunch, give them a call and see if I can swing out there and pick that up. If I get out there today, of course, I'll give you guys a look at the unit as I clean it out. But um, I'll also probably do a follow-up video once I get into it. Not sure if I'm going to be able to do all that in one day, but uh, hopefully I can get some of that accomplished today. All right, I've tried to call the storage place a couple times and no answer. So I might just drive up there and hope that they're there. Not sure why they're not answering their phone, but uh, I've been listing. I've got a couple more Air Jordan shoes and some pins. I just listed a pair of, uh, I think the uh, orange Air Jordans and now I have the yellow ones here. Let me give you guys a look. There's a look at them. This was like the Gatorade series. There was like the orange and the blues and the yellows and uh, kind of a cool box. I also photographed these pins. Uh, we've got some sets of pins here, uh, lapel pins. So I'm gonna list those. I think there's five of them here. Um, we'll get those up. We did have one brooch sell. I packed that up. Uh, so of the brooches that I listed this morning, uh, one of them sold. Here's a look at that brooch. Sold for $16.51. So uh, pretty cool, nice little vintage brooch. Here's a look at the other item that sold this morning. Sold for $15.89. It's Indian Pop Hits Volume 1 DVD Movie Film. 
Disc 22 songs, dance made in India. So some uh, dance songs from India. So another slow day of sales. Not sure what is going on, but just it's been slow yesterday, slow today. I'm going to keep listing though. I'm going to get this other pair of Air Jordans listed. And then I think I'm going to head out to Linden and go up to that uh, storage unit and see if I can clear it out tonight. Um, get the payment made at least and uh, hopefully somebody's there. Um, we'll see. All right, we made it here to the storage facility. I just got the storage unit paid for. She opened it up uh, for me and uh, we're going to load it up into the truck. Should be a quick and easy unload. We got the truck backed up right to the door, so nice and easy. Here's a look at the unit. We got the cart here ready and just a small little 5x5 five five unit. Shouldn't take long at all to clean this out. All right, we got cart number one loaded up, ready to make its way to the truck. We're gonna get it uh, in that truck. Uh, as you can see, the truck is right there, so uh, probably less than 20 feet away, and it should be an easy little load up here. All right, we got the unit cleaned out. We got the last cart of goodies uh, headed into the truck. Not my best pack job, but I think I'm gonna get it all in there, cover it up, uh, make sure it's nice and secure, and drive it to the next destination aka my house and uh, unload that um, see what we got i might uh, get into a little bit of it tonight but uh, it looks like it might be a couple there's both men's and women's items in this um, some books some christmas i noticed but uh, it looks to be there might be a few uh, good boxes in here so uh, we'll have to wait and see what we got here's a look at the unit nice and clean everything out as you can see here's the last cart Pretty easy little clean out. Uh, there always is more in there though. There's always more than you expect, but uh, a whole truckload, um, $234. All right, here's a look at it. Uh, the bed is completely full as well as the back here. So uh, $234 goes a long ways. You get a lot of stuff for, uh, for that amount of money. So hopefully we got some good stuff in this uh, batch. We'll have to go home and find out. All right, we got the door locked and safe. Everything is covered up. Always cover your load. We want it, all the treasure flying away. We do have a little bit of a, a load in the back seat here, but uh, we can still see everything all right. So uh, we're going to get that home and uh, start unpacking. So I'm feeling pretty good about this purchase. Uh, like I said, $234 I spent on this unit. Uh, $260 total. Uh, they take a little bit out for uh, storage treasures cut when you... Um, make the original purchase so I went it for 260 came here I paid the additional 234 and uh, got everything loaded up probably took me less than a half an hour the gal made me out here and went nice and smooth kind of in the small little five by five unit uh, and uh, yeah I'm excited to see what we got out of this um, haven't done a storage clean out for a few months but it's a nice day for it um, the weather's turning so maybe I'll start doing a few more of these as long as I can deal with the added work um, if we find some good stuff, who knows? I already saw a little bit of jewelry, a um, little broken necklace, um, beaded necklace. Um, appears to be some books, and um, who else? Who knows what else? Like I said, Christmas stuff, which is not my favorite thing, but uh, we did make a lot of money off Christmas stuff last Christmas, so we could always uh, keep the best of the best and uh, plan to relist that next Christmas. All right, as you can see, we made it here to Lake Padden. Just because we have a truck full of new treasures doesn't mean we can't stop and get in a little exercise. I'm gonna chance it and uh, leave the truck here, um, and get my 2.6 miles in, then head home and uh, maybe unbox a few items, give you guys a sneak peek at what we got, um, and probably mostly do most of the unboxing tomorrow in a separate video. So you have to come back uh, and see what we got. I'm sure that there's probably some good stuff in here. We just got to go through it and uh, locate it all. Um, of course, I'll show you all the treasures. Everything we find in a separate video. But uh, thanks for coming along and watching this one. I'm going to go get my run in. Uh, let's come back for a few moments of gratitude. Then we'll head home and see what we got in some of these boxes. All right, we made it another successful 2.6 miles all the way around Lake Patton. Came back to a truck full of potential treasure. Who knows what's in those uh, boxes and bags. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in this truck. Like I said, $260 I paid for it. So I guess grateful that I was able to get this unit for under my budget. I was going to go up to 300 The bidding started, I think, 180 and we got up to 260 I think they tapped out at 250 
and uh, I got it for 260 so uh, within my budget a nice 5x5 five five, easy to clean out no big furniture which is nice uh, these 5x5s five are hard to come by sometimes they go for a little bit more money because uh, could the ease of cleaning them out people like to uh, get the 5x5s five they fit in a truckload uh, if you're lucky um, if it's not too full uh, like you can see this one is uh, pretty full for about a a quarter of full 5x5 five five. it wasn't even all the way full so you can get quite a deal on storage treasures um, if you look for the right uh, units I guess we're out there running in the sunshine we got to be thankful that that Sun has shown itself uh, a few days back I was uh, singing the orphan Annie song uh, the Sun will come out tomorrow and today is that tomorrow um, it finally made its way out after several gloomy days out here running in the rain so it's nice to run in that sunshine hopefully it'll stick around a little while so I guess I'm also thankful to start this little storage uh, storage treasures uh, adventure a little bit early. I was going to hold off until spring. Not quite spring yet, but we got a unit uh, was the right price and the right uh, amount of stuff. Uh, just uh, worked out perfect. So um, hopefully we get a, a nice, a few nice items out of it. Uh, the idea is to at least double my money. Uh, looking to make um, six hundred dollars off this unit so uh, that's the goal going into it we'll look through this stuff and see what we got see what we have to list for six hundred um, just in clothing alone if those uh, um, garbage bags are full of clothing there's easily six hundred dollars worth of clothing probably and then we have all kinds of books and uh, Christmas stuff and whatever else is in those bags we don't know yet it's uh, that's the fun part we get to open it all tomorrow so be sure to come back uh, grateful for you guys that you're showing up you're uh, continuing to watch you're coming back for some of these uh, follow-up videos to kind of see what is going on what's new with the the business I'm uh, doing hats I'm doing jewelry I'm doing Air Jordans a little bit of everything is going up into the store trying to uh, flip that stuff for some profit so we'll see we'll see if those profits return the last couple days have been pretty lousy sales wise I must admit but uh, the weekend is right around the corner that's usually when the sales roll in so uh, hoping for a few big days um, especially with this new inventory I want to um, make some space to get this stuff online and sold sometimes when you do these units there is a little bit of sadness that goes along with it you know these people are giving up their uh, possessions either because they couldn't make the um, make the payment or something unfortunate happened to them so hopefully this uh, unit uh, the, the owners are, have moved on from this stuff uh, they've started something new and uh, they're on their way to a new chapter in their life and uh, we will benefit from their belongings so that's kind of the way you got to think about it um, try not to get too sad unboxing things uh, used to be when I first started out I would go through and read the letters and all that stuff but uh, I tend not to do that anymore it gets a little too emotional so grateful for that lesson uh, we don't have to do that anymore just uh, look for the stuff that's uh, worth the money that's what it's about right turning it as fast as you can for as much money as you can um, thinking of it as an entrepreneurial endeavor instead of um, something else so that's kind of the way I think about it yeah like I said it's nothing personal it's just business that's the way it is a lot of times these days right uh, you get into these relationships with people or you uh, come across people into your lives and in and out of your lives it's just business right and uh, that's how you have to look at things sometimes um, there's a bottom line to it all you know there's partnerships and certain things and uh, a lot of people are um, taking advantage of certain partnerships and uh, they have certain ideas about uh, what it should be and what it shouldn't and uh, you uh, have to th know your worth and uh, know that the bottom line is um, a lot of times it comes down to the dollar bill and certainly in business like this you got to be a little bit cutthroat and uh, look out for number one so while that sun is out I think I'm gonna be grateful for a look at the lake today take you guys down there give you guys a look at it and uh, maybe uh, roam around the park a little bit more show show off the beauty of uh, Lake Padden uh, we haven't done a tour for a bit uh, haven't been feeling up to it in the dark and gloomy weather so we'll get down there see how uh, cold it is see if that Sun warms me enough to get out there and uh, show you a little bit about the fun stuff you can find here at Lake Padden let's do it so there is some <clears throat> some nice cloud cover out today so I'm gonna give you guys a look at some of that as well as the water down front there at the, the waterfront here's that shoreline with all these sticks here it's uh, washed up here on the shore but uh, there's a look at some of that cloud cover I was telling you about it looks pretty nice on the far end that's the dog park side um, we'll give you a 
panoramic view here of the lake and then uh, walk around and turn around and show you the other side in a second. As you can see here it is quite wet and muddy so we got to kind of watch our step here. Look at that shadow. Who's that guy? So we got that sun right in my eyes right now so I'm gonna give you guys a look at it. I'm not sure how much you'll be able to see. It's pretty bright. I'm trying not to look right into it but there it is. Uh, maybe you can see some of those clouds up there. Yeah, that's a nice looking shot. Pretty beautiful. That sun's setting over there on the far end. I think that's where we're going to walk toward. We're going to walk that way and uh, take a look at some of the water over there by the tennis court. That's, a, that's the next venture. Let's head on over there. See what we can see. The water is coming from those puddles just right into the lake. There's that much. It's just flowing right in. Can you see that right there? Flowing from the puddles into the lake. Nice steady flow of water. Yeah, the lake, uh, the trail was uh, quite muddy. Muddy and wet in certain areas. That tree is still down on the far end by the big hill. So uh, there's some obstacles out there today. There is definitely some stuff to look out for. Alright, we're making some progress. We're almost halfway around over to the water area. Thought I'd give you a look at that cloud cover from a different angle. Uh, this is kind of a little enclave where you can uh, get away from everything. They're blasting a little music over there by the tennis courts. Look at this little tuft of moss. That's kind of cool, right? Right at the bottom of the tree. Must be a lot of moisture there. Look at all these sticks. You saw that other area. This area is even worse. This is a fun little fishing spot on the far end. Fishing season, people are always out here. This is a kind of a nice little getaway spot. You can see the entire lake from here as you can see. All that nice cloud cover on the other end by the dog park. Definitely a nice day out here today for a walk. There was quite a few people out on the trail actually. You can see why. Beautiful day. All right, we made it to the far end, the water runoff area. I'll give you guys a, one last look at the lake uh, from the dock area, and then we'll take a look at that water runoff. Uh, sounds to be flowing pretty good over there, so uh, we'll take a look at it. branches out here. It's like this one came down recently. So I almost took a slip and fall. It's slippery out here. Look at that mud. That's my footprint. See that? There's a little duck right on the top of that rock there. You guys see him? He's right on the top there. I'm gonna try to get a little closer if I can. 
see what he does. It'll be interesting to see if he uh, tries to fly away with all that water rushing around him. But it's kind of a difficult spot. I'll zoom out and show you guys where I'm at. I'm right up here on the ledge. There's not really a spot to get that close to him. There's another little duck over there. You see him? Right over on the edge. Trying to brave the rapids. So there's two, two or three of them out here. Look at that. Alright, I tried to get closer. Just when I got a little closer, they flew away, of course. Of course, that guy is still standing his ground. He just had a little duck accident on the rock there, though. His brothers, his brothers all flew away down the... Down the stream. Let's go see if we can find Spotted them. them. There they are. They didn't get too far away. They do see me. It's interesting how fast they can spot you. We're going to try to walk up on them a little bit and see what they do. Maybe we can get them flying away. There they go. Yeah, they want no part of it. It was kind of interesting. One flew one way and one flew the other way. Like they uh, decided to split up. The other one's uh, about uh, 10 feet down the rapids this way, and that one went upstream, so uh, let's follow the guy downstream, it'll be easier. I didn't think I was going to get this much action on this little creek venture here. There he goes, there he goes. Yeah. So this is where things get a little more mellow. The rapids die down a little. It's not uh, as loud down here. That guy's flying down the trail. Look at that. It is kind of peaceful to hang out down here by the water. Just listen to it flow like this. Nothing therapeutic about it. But I think I'm going to jog back to the truck. We got a truck full of goodies. We don't want to leave it alone too long. I'm going to get home and uh, start unloading some of that stuff uh, before it gets dark out. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this little look at uh, the creek here at Lake Padden. A little bit of nature. A few ducks. Got a little wildlife in there for you. Um, I have seen heron in that little portion of the creek before, but uh, none to be seen today. Kind of cool to see that little duck on the rock though. I like that. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Uh, if you do, hit the subscription button. Come on back. Uh, we usually do the gratitude moment followed by a little tour of the lake. So uh, there's always plenty to see. Alright, we uh, we jogged back to the truck. Made it back safe and sound. Going to get home showered up and hopefully give you guys a look at a few of these boxes in the truck. At least the ones here in the back of the cab. That's a good starting point. And then we'll do the rest tomorrow in a separate video. So if you don't want to miss that video, all you got to do is hit that notification bell. Uh, when you subscribe, there's a little notification bell. You click on that. That way you'll be notified when the next video drops. And uh, I get them up on the daily, so uh, the next one will be up the following day. And you'll be able to see everything that I got in this unit. A little out of breath, as you can tell, but uh, we'll get to it. Um, hit that notification bell, and then you'll... You'll be notified when that next one drops. All right, we got home from Lake Padden and I unloaded a few boxes from the um, truck into the garage. And uh, I think this is what I'm gonna show you guys tonight. Let me give you guys a look. So here are some of the smaller bags and boxes that were in the cab. Um, some interesting stuff in here. Some books as you can see in those. But, uh, and then this stuff I think it says miscellaneous art. And I think this one might be a Christmas box, but uh, We'll get into that stuff a little bit later. I'm going to get cleaned up, get something to eat. Yeah, like I said, I'm going to get cleaned up, get something to eat, shower up, and uh, get into something a little bit more warmer for the garage. It's a little cold out here, so we'll get into it in a moment. All right, today we got the corned beef hash in burritos. Leftover corned beef hash, potatoes in the form of a burrito. All right, we're showered up and in the garage. We're gonna get into some of these bags and see what we got in these. Um, I got some set out here uh, that I got in the today's unit. So let's take a look. So this was one of the items that I noticed. Looks like some sort of jewelry uh, necklace that came apart. Um, it has a little cross in there. I don't know if that's silver or not. We'll have to take it out, get a scope on it. See if it might be a little silver cross, who knows. This is always interesting, a, a cigar box. 
You never know what you're going to find in a cigar box. I'm a little bit afraid to open it, but okay. What do we have in here? Looks like some playing cards and some smelling salts and some rocks. Okay. Well, it smells good. Let's see, what do they have? This is some sort of a lemongrass, lemongrass aromatherapy. It's a pretty big bottle too, not the small one. And then this one is sandalwood. Sandalwood and lemon lemongrass aromatherapy. So those are nice. We'll get things smelling a little nicer in the place. So this was pretty cool. There was uh, four postcards in here. Um, they look to have almost native type of art to them. Uh, looks like a tiger, an elephant. Is that a monkey maybe? And a cat. So uh, four postcards. They haven't been written on. They're brand new postcards. Um, Eman... Amon Effects. Amon Effects, I think, is the name of the artist. So, pretty cool little postcards. Your attention is necessary. Your attention is necessary. So, there was just some miscellaneous uh, paperwork in the rest of that. So, I think I'm just going to recycle the rest of it. That box probably isn't worth anything either. So, I'll probably just recycle that as well. Okay, we found a couple cookbooks. Uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Shed Flips. Uh, Lonnie and Candace, I know they like to sell cookbooks on occasion. And uh, I think they said the obscure ones are kind of the ones that do well. And these look like they may be obscure. They got kind of the the ring binder there. Um, so let me give you guys a look at Here's them. There's a smaller one. It's uh, Gourmet, Gourmet's Delights. Um, so yeah, spiral bound cookbook. All kinds of recipes and stuff. So we'll have to look that up. It doesn't uh, have... It's a nice looking book though. Here is the other one. Salute to cooking entertaining with ease. Entertaining with ease. It says down here 200 picnic party and patio favorites of military wives. Well, that's cool. So this one is for military wives. So maybe they were uh, in the military. Who knows? So there was a lot of shampoo in this one. This isn't shampoo. This is some sort of skincare routine. A crew. A, cu a crew. Welcome to Skin Wellness, Brightening Cellular Water. Hmm. I saw the movie. I saw the movie. It was a good movie. I never read the book, though. The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. And a nice little paperback. That's probably worth a few bucks. This appears to be some sort of baby blanket, maybe a little plush or something. I don't know. We'll have to get that out and look at it in more detail tomorrow. Um, but what else do we have in here? Uh, we got a Bible. Your Bible and You. Your Bible and You. Maybe that's a, a novel, though, it looks like. Or a self-help, I don't know. And the last book in this one is Stephen King, The, the Eyes of the Dragon, 35th Anniversary Edition. So a nice little paperback book. All right, one tote down. We got a bunch more to go. Um, I'm not sure how many of these we're going to go through, but we'll go through another one, I guess. I guess this one is an easy one to empty out. Some more books. Let's see what we got. This is a nice larger uh, hardcover book. It's The Tales of the South Pacific by James A. Michener. Michener. Nice one. All right, we got a few more paperback books. This one is pretty rough. Um... Game of Thrones, a Game of Thrones, and then we have three um, J.R.R. Tolkien books, Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King, and Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, and the original Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring. So we could uh, probably lock those up. Uh, they're in decent condition, not, not too great, but uh, this Game of Thrones book is a little bit rough, but uh, we'll see what they're going for and uh, if they're worth listing or not. Might be a, a nice book lot. At least they're all the same type of book. So like I've said in past videos, I used to just donate all the books. and uh, But now lately I've been listing a few books here and there. I'm not going deep into books because they're heavy. And uh, there's not a lot of profit in them. But um, I do list them on occasion when I need a handful of fresh inventory to get into the st stores. I grab a few books. I've got a stack in the photo station that I grab from on occasion. And I did clean out a storage unit that had a lot of nice uh, hardcover books that I have yet to list. So that might be something I dive into somewhere down the road. Uh, I'll give you guys a look. You see these boxes over here, these nice um, boxes over here. These all have books in them. 
there's probably a dozen of those uh, boxes over there. So the rest of this is just looks like pencils and pens. Some of these pencils, these old pencils, can be worth some decent money if they're the right kind. But uh, I'm not sure. These just look to be basic, um, basic pencils. And uh, this one is kind of cool. Has a little fuzzy rainbow uh, top on it. And then we have some paperwork down here. So we'll have to go through that, see what is. It's just scrap paper, I think, but uh, some pens. We could always use pens, check them to see if they work, and add them to our collection. All right, we had some books, and we got some glasses. I'm not sure if these are prescription or what, but uh, they look to be pretty thick lenses, so uh, I don't know, I'll have to try those on. I am to the age where I probably should be wearing reading glasses, but uh, I haven't. Uh, I've got some magnifiers that I use on occasion, but... Uh, We'll see. We're gonna get into this bag and then call it quits. It's almost nine o'clock, believe it or not. Um, let's get in here, see what we got. This one is kind of calling to me. What do we got here? Oh, look at that. A little puppy. A little patriotic puppy. Isn't that cute? Yeah, we could probably list that guy. List them around 4th of July and someone will pick them up easy. They'll want to use them for their picnic table. All right, this bag is intriguing, isn't it? You see a bag like this, you wonder, what is in this thing? A little black bag. little black bag. I'm sure you guys are curious, aren't you? That's why we're going to leave it for tomorrow. Tomorrow, come on back. Come on back tomorrow and we'll pick up where we left off with that little black bag. We'll show you guys what's in that as well as we'll unload the truck and take a look at all the contents tomorrow. We'll do a full unveiling of this unit, this uh, $260 unit that I purchased from Storage Treasures today. Um, hopefully we get some good stuff. So far we're off to a good start. Let me show you again what we unveiled tonight. Well, we had the glasses. I just showed you that. Um, there was this some sort of skincare, and then there was this necklace that came apart, all this little beaded necklace. Uh, down here we had the rocks. I don't know if I showed you guys this rock. This was a little gray rock I added to the other ones. They just they drew that on there, kind of a cool design. We had the two aromatherapy, and of course the little puppy we just showed you, that guy. Um, we had uh, the postcards here, those four postcards. We can definitely list those. And then down here we had all the books. Um, we had the J.R. Tolkien and the Game of Thrones, the hardcover books and the pocket books, Stephen King, Your Bible, Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, and then the two cookbooks. So those cookbooks, you know, maybe 10, 15 bucks. Those other paperback books, maybe five bucks a pop. Uh, I'd say those... Uh, those postcards might be worth five to ten bucks. The puppies probably five bucks. Aromatherapy, I'll probably just keep that myself and sniff it. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this little sneak peek at the unit's contents. A few boxes we got into and there's much more to come obviously. A whole truck full. So uh, come on back tomorrow, ring that notification bell. Then you'll be notified when the next unboxing video drops. Uh, we'll do this in a series of two videos. Uh, today's video uh, was more of the loading and uh, unloading of, of the contents and then tomorrow we'll really get it, get after it uh, when we have a little bit more time get a, get after it and take a look at stuff in day, the daylight hopefully we'll get a sunny day we can open the garage and uh, take a look at everything in the sunlight that's the plan that's what I'm hoping for that's how I imagine things you know you gotta manifest it that sun's gonna come back we're gonna get out there on the tail of the truck and uh, Take a look at all these new treasures. So uh, come on back tomorrow and uh, join me for this little adventure. I'm getting back into these storage units, so uh, it's a new venture for me. Uh, I've done probably 30 or so storage cleanouts in the time I've been doing it, but I haven't done it for some time now. And uh, we're getting back into it now that spring is almost here. Um, so come on back and we'll uh, take a look at everything tomorrow. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.